Okay, it's time. Hello, everybody. Today I'm gonna show you how to balance those nano props by just using normal pencil lead. You just try to grab it here. Just normal pencil lead that you can buy anywhere. Rose Cooker pencils. Yeah, pretty cheap stuff. You can find it anywhere. And most people have problem with these nano propellers is they're so light that you simply can't balance them. Today I'm gonna show you how to balance them. Okay, it's like midnight right now. No. So everybody sleeps so I'm not disturbed. And these propellers are one of those CX10 glow in dark propellers, pretty cool stuff. And what you want for your application, you're not having an FPV quadcopter. Uh, if propeller stays, I'm just gonna turn this. Propeller stays in the position that you placed it on pencil lead, means that your propeller is already balanced really well. But for my applications, which are FPV flying, want my propellers to be balanced much better. What you want to do is place your propeller like this and hold pencil lead like this very gently and just wiggle it around until it must not hit your fingers until it stops moving. Now if you see how it stands, this blade is the heavy blade. Oh, just spit it. Okay, let me just do this again. Okay, this blade is heavy. One, that's unbalanced. And what I like to do is I just place it like this. You can use a sandpaper uh, if you want, and then just scrub the surface, upper surface of this propeller, like this. And scrub and go around so you get like nice circle form so don't disturb the aerodynamics until. Your propeller is so balanced that when you wiggle it, it's just going to stay like like this. It's just going to stand like this while you shake it. And if you flip it on the other side and do that again, it should stay like this too. And most problem that all propellers, any more, any nano propellers that you would see, uh, they have factory mistake probably because factory there are lazy people they usually have this small from the press that they are formed in they have like small residue that you just need to scrape off to until it becomes round rounded and stuff these four propellers I just packed them back in are too transparent to glow in dark they are balanced to specs that I need them and if you want, I can make full review how to make this homemade nano quadcopter box. I can't show you the quadcopter right now because it got blown by a neighbor. I was just flying it around and I didn't see him. Came with a shotgun and shot my drone down. I can't believe how big of an asshole some people can be. And in this area, it's legal to fly any kind of quadcopters. If it's military size, yeah, okay, what can you do? Yeah, and after you balance them and you think it's running as it should be, you can just use simple small motor. These are lower power motors, more efficient motor, and it spins over RPM. It is just what I need for this low RPM high torque. And you just place a propeller and hold motor gently. And because shaft is so, so shiny, it will be very, very easy to see if the motor vibrates. And if it vibrates, you're screwed. Uh, the problem that I still can't fix, I'm trying to figure out how, is when you place the prop and you spin it the first time, the blades run as it should be, like this. But after I get some RPM, one blade starts to bend more than the other and that causes vibrations. I still don't know how to fix that. 
but I'll try to find out for you. So you don't need to go like buy multiple sets of spares just to make one good set of spares, which is just bullshit. Like they're just robbing us to for what? For propellers, really? Like they usually I don't know which propeller is that. Oh yeah, it's in the package here. It's one of the propellers has this both sides burned. Like probably fell somewhere they just picked it up quickly from hot part of the machine because it got burned, melted up. Yeah. And this is what I'm working on. This is one of those CX stands and I bought it without filmware, like zero percent anything software and stuff. I program it. I hope it's good program now. New firmware with uh, this 150 lithium ion battery that's 50C, which is pretty good, pretty decent. And I'll place this similar modes to this, but with a bit higher RPM. There will not be original CX10 because they have weaker magnets, they use cheap neodymium, and these have really powerful neodymium magnet in them. Even if you think there is powerful neodymium magnet in them, it's not. It's not. So yeah, that's how you can balance your props. And I can show that these glow in the dark, but camera doesn't pick up the light from them. So uh, it's just gonna be useless footage for you. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this video, uh, click the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, don't leave nasty comments, if you dislike you can go fuck yourself, so yeah, that's how you balance your props, your blades, or well, blades, whatever you want to call it, I'm, I'm not judge, so yeah, goodbye.